Hello my dear friends in our last video we learned how we can send firebase push notification in our flutter app so we covered the basics of firebase push notification and as i told in my last video that in the next video we will do the advanced uh, features that we have in the firebase push notification so in our last video we were just sending the push notifications and uh, we were able to receive it in our app uh, and we saw like what are the steps needed to uh, send the push notification and receive it and in this part of video we will see that uh, what are the events that get generated and how to handle those events uh when the firebase push notification is sent so let's get started i will first move to the documentation part firebase push notification flutter so we have already done the setup of uh, flutter client we have already seen how we can send a test message and now is the time to learn how to receive messages and how to handle it so this is the app in the same stage where we just uh, completed things in our last video if you haven't checked that video please do check that video it will help you to uh, uh, understand things or even if you don't check the video you will get a understanding of whatever we are doing in this video but it's always better to check that video for better understanding so let's first understand like what happens and what events gets generated when firebase push push notification is there so fi when firebase push notification is sent there can be Uh, three uh, conditions three states like either the app uh, is in foreground or the app is in background <clears throat> or the app uh, is terminated like it's neither in the foreground nor in the background it is just like terminated it has not yet been uh, opened by the user so these three uh, state can be there and we have to handle this uh, state separately so first thing that we will do is that we will see that how we can handle things when the app is in foreground and uh, how we can handle things in when the app is in background so first we have to write the handler uh, for the background and we already have the imported files that we need that is we have the firebase core that we imported in our last uh, tutorial we have the firebase messaging uh, package firebase options is already uh, created when you integrate firebase with flutter app so let's go ahead and write the handler so our handler handler will return future void future because we will use async await and void because it will not return anything and it will have a parameter of type remote message so it is of uh, type async and when this handler is called we have to initialize the app uh, when the app is in background basically uh, it directly goes to the handler and the entry point will be from the handler so it won't go to the main and then it will go to the handler so it's very important that we initialize the app before uh, doing anything sorry initialize the firebase before doing anything
and after this initialization we will print a message So it will print the message ID when the background event is handled by this handler. So now let's write the handler for foreground. And handler for foreground we can directly get from the documentation. So let's save some time by just copying it from the documentation. I will do some changes to this handler because we won't be using it directly rather than we will create a function because we want to see how differently the foreground handler and the background ba handler works. The rest of the things will remain same. Now this, this is our foreground handler. So we are done with the background handler and we are done with the foreground handler. And now we can uh, use these handlers and see how it works. So first of all I will, uh, before using this uh, handler, so first I will uh, comment these codes because we have already generated a token and I, I think it will work for now so let's comment this code and I will also comment the code to refresh token let me increase the size of the fonts so that it's visible better Okay, I don't think this need to be a weight and here we I will call the handler okay I just noticed that I'm calling here the foreground handler that is why there is an error and I don't know why the back oh yeah background handler is here so now the error is gone and now after the initialized firebase initialized is run uh, we can also call the foreground handler so this handler needs the on message event listener So now both the listeners, uh, sorry, both the handlers are in place and now we can go ahead and we can run our app and we can see like how things are working. So while the app is building, we will go ahead and we will set up a message so that we can see how it's being handled. So right now the app is in 
the app is not running oh because we have commented this so let's hot restart and i think this should fix things so now the app is in foreground and uh, let's go ahead and send a test message 